Right, now we're gonna head there. However, there's this little birch forest. They recently added a um, a new thing you can do, where you can take birch bark and make like a birch bark tea with it. Oh crap! That's a bear. Okay, maybe we'll check that out later. Wow. Anyway, um, the birch bark key, if I'm not mistaken, will actually let you, like, it lets you, it, you can use it to make your condition go up faster, which in this game is your health. It's that little, you know, health bar down there at the bottom left. Which is actually really useful because a lot of times, well, in fact, I think the only way really to build your condition is just by sleeping. But if you're at the point where you're fully slept and it's daytime, you don't really want to keep sleeping. But you can make this birch bark tea, drink it, and it'll, you know, keep helping you boost your condition. I, th I think it's an overtime thing. I don't think it's like a you drink it and you just gain condition, but it's actually really cool. And it makes birch bark, I would say, a lot more valuable than it normally is, where it's normally just another fire starting tender. Now it's a mild health regen product. Whereas you don't really have much in terms of health regen in this game. So it's actually kind of cool. Alright, so we're heading over here for this church artifact. This might be the, uh, whatever the, the kind of bad rogue group in this game is. Like, the, I think it's called the Forest Talkers, I think they were. This might be them. Okay, legit, these wolves have been howling for like five minutes straight here. I don't know, I don't know what they're doing. This lonely little cabin just sitting out here. I think I mentioned this before, but it has been two years since then. These little cabins kind of suck. Like they're clearly, you know, if you're if you're freezing to death, they're very helpful. But. You can't make a fire in them because there's no fireplace. Like, look, they got all this fire making materials. But there's no fireplace in here, so you can't make a fire. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Oh, that's way over there. I think we'll still check it out, though. Maybe not today, necessarily. We might save that one for next time. This will come in handy. Is that better than mine? Let's take a look at it. I have a sweatshirt. Or a sweater. It is worse. Um... Though not by much. I think it might just be the conditions a little lower. But we don't need it. Maybe we need it over the um over the t-shirt. Maybe that would help. It's the exact same weight. It's got slightly less warmth. But its stats are actually better in other ways. We're gonna do that instead. It'll give us more wind resistance and a couple other better stats too, I think. Hope nobody needs this anymore.
Okay. Suitcase. There we go. Okay, I think that's a clue as to where it went. Skeeter's Ridge Basement. Okay, a little bit farther. Right, well, we've warmed up again, so I think we can go ahead and just go now. I think we're good still. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, if the 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 thing you always want to look for is you want to look for a building that you can make a fire in. Because if you can't make a fire in the building, that means you have to go outside, you know, usually out by the front door, and make a fire. Which, if the weather's calm, is fine, but, you know, the weather can turn into a blizzard really quickly in this game, and then your fire goes out, and then you can't, you know cook your food or whatever it was you were wanting to do and you just you get kind of aggravated and I understand the idea that you don't want to uh, you wouldn't exactly want to make a fire in a poorly ventilated building like that without any kind of ability for the fire to escape but it just gets aggravating sometimes you go set up a little campfire outside, it gets blown out. Okay, I guess we'll just not drink anything. And you know, the other thing you could do, I kind of wish you could do this in this game, though I don't exactly know how, how you could make it work as a game mechanic, is the idea of putting, you know, snow into a water bottle or into... Uh, oh, that's like a wrecked building. If you can put snow into, like, a water bottle and then when you go to sleep, you put the snow, like, under your blanket with you and then you could melt it with your body heat. That would be an interesting thing to do. Okay. Whoa, hello. So we got a phone in here. Which looks fairly pristine considering the condition of this burned down house. Ah, here's some bird spark. Brewed into restorative tea. So yeah, I would say the birch birch bark is fairly a useful item now. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting distracted by everything around me. Normally I would pick up all these cattails. Okay. Normally I'd pick up all these cattails, but... Like I've previously said, we have quite a lot of food right now. That was less than exciting. I was like, oh, there's a guy out here. I wonder if that's a story element of some sort. No, no, it's just a dead guy. He's got nothing on him. We don't really know where he came from. I would assume he came from this burned down house, but we don't really know. These cattails actually end up being a surprisingly good food source in survival. Especially during the, the first, you know, first night or first couple nights when you're kind of, if you're in the higher difficulty levels, 
and you haven't really found a good settlement with any food, so you're kind of living off the land a little bit. If you can scavenge, you know, 10 or 15 of them, which you can in kind of densely populated areas like this, then you're usually good on food for about a day or so. Okay. I'm trying to get around this mountain here. Unfortunately, there is a whole mountain in my way. Yeah, I probably should have gone the other way. Well, if nothing else, we'll stumble across the airplane pretty soon. Try to avoid breaking our ankles. The, uh, the injury sprain system in the game, when you're like walking on it angles like that, seems to be more of a time-based thing than like a speed or an angle-based thing. I mean, I think the angle might increase the chances, but it seems to be a time-based thing where the longer you spend on the, on the hill, the more likely it's going to happen. Which sounds kind of obvious, but I mean it in the sense that like, it's almost more like a timer. Like, once you get on that angle, you have, you know, 10, 15 seconds to get off of it. Or it's going to break your leg. You know, or sprain your ankle. Oh, well. Once we get up here and get the main objective, you know, the... The, uh, the plane thing dealt with. I'm going to break my ankle. I, I'm, I'm seeing it happen. It's about to happen. Nope. Nope. We got off it. Okay. Well, once we get up here, we can kind of knock out most of these side quests up here. In this kind of general area. Maybe we could swing by and do the tall tales. Of course, we might have a bunch of crap on us at the time. I don't know. We could swing by the farmhouse and kind of come back. Maybe. I don't know. I wish the stag thing wasn't so far away, but... The idea of, like, a, a white ghostly stag is kind of intriguing. You know, I'm curious. I want to check it out. I've been this way before. I remember this little valley tucked in back here. Kind of like this area. There might even be a cave over here. Oh, there's some wolves. Oh, timber wolves. Perhaps. I think it's these ones in front of me. That's fine. Come here, boys. Back off! Alright. Let's strip that off real quick. That's all I really want off him. Other than again, I've already got the coat, so... Do I really need more? Maybe not. I think that's a little cave. I am going to check it out real quick, just so we can warm up a little bit. In fact, you know what? Yeah, I might go ahead and... Uh, warm up a drink in here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. <sighs> I 
let me see. I don't think we have enough yet, but let me see what it is. Birch bark, you need two birch, bir birch bark. To do that prepared birch bark thing. Actually, I should be eating the meat. Whoops. I need to eat the meat so I can get rid of the smell and also the meat's kind of heavy. Actually, not that far over in weight. There's something I can drop, like an extra can. Hmm. Yeah, we'll drop one of those. That'll get us back to a good weight. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go check out the plane. It's pretty darn close to the plane, so I think we should just check that out first. Did you hear somebody crying? I thought I heard somebody crying. That was weird. Yeah, I don't I don't know about that. I'm kind of unnerved about about that to be honest. Okay. Um they clearly do not want me going this way. However, I am persistent. No, no, I think they I think they put some nice invisible walls in the way to keep me from doing what I'm trying to do right now. One of the things about the game is that you can't uh, you can't jump. So if they just put the right kind of invisible walls, then you're just kind of stuck. Dang it. It's okay, we still got a good wrist. Okay, so we got to go the other way. Maybe I should stop running too. I'm kind of um, I'm getting a bit more fatigued. We'll drink a coffee when our water levels get a little bit lower, but yeah, I got to keep that in mind. I really think the game just highlights how hard it is to be a human in a survival situation. You gotta deal with so many little things. Okay. Am I going the wrong way? I feel like I am. So I'm about to go back around this mountain. Okay, so clearly we need to go this way. I don't know if you can see my cursor. We need to go around the other way around the mountain that I basically done. Um, we're not gonna do that. We are gonna just keep going this way. Until I find a good break. You know, not the one I was trying to go with. But yeah, I clearly went the wrong way. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna need the coffee. That will help a little bit. So yeah, we're supposed to go the other way. 
Um, you know what else we might end up doing? Because I think we're going to have to go all the way like around this next little mountain in order to make it. Eh, maybe. We could just head to that bunker as well. And then sleep there. I'm also looking at some point to wrap this up. It's, uh... I'm about two hours in. I don't know how long it is with me cutting stuff out, but... It's probably still like an hour and a half. Or maybe at least an hour. Okay, there's a hunter's blind over there. That doesn't, like, you know, help me, but it does give me a little bit of a landmark to work with. Okay, so I can't... I don't think I can go up this way. It doesn't look like it. Look out, deer. Let me know if there's any wolves over there. Yeah, we're, we're going to check out this bunker, because I need to go kind of down and around. And I'm so close to the bunker already, we might as well just check it out. There's almost certainly not a good spot to sleep in a wrecked plane wreckage. But I bet a bunker's, you know, perfectly fine. If it's the same kind of bunker that they've had in the game already, this would be a perfectly fine place to sleep. Bird sounds like a phone's vibrating. I need you to stop that. Right, we got an outhouse. We've got a wood stove with a cooking pot. And we have a bunker. I love these things. In a survival, they're just a, um, like a, ra or at least they were last I knew about them. They're just like randomly placed little, you know, stockpiles of goodies, plus they're, uh, safe from the weather so you can sleep in them. Oh, oh, maybe this is bad. Maybe we don't want to be underground when all this is happening. Must resist the urge to collect useless newspapers. <laughs> Hope he's not down here. Maybe he's the dude... The guy that, you know, has this. Ooh, these might be good. He's the dude that was shooting the convicts with arrows. Some Robin Hood vigilante kind of character. Vigilante? I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, those are like those energy drinks. Yeah, that pack is getting kind of heavy. So, this bunker's a little bit bigger than the, um, the random ones. Hmm. Yeah, I bet what we have is gonna be a little better than that. I think I can use this. We're gonna check it out before I, you know, write it off, but... The ability for it to, you know... Hold off wolves is kind of interesting. You got a lot of dog food down here. You don't... Like, I'm eating dog food because I'm in a survival situation. You don't you don't have to eat the dog food. You could have gotten something else. Hey there. Get a journal in there. A storm's coming, no man knows when, but I can smell it. Ooh. 
Ooh, another bunker. Okay. This has been here a while. They really like rewarding you for looking around. There's lots of like medium and high tier items in here. Like those MREs are really good. I think they do something like be prepared for anything. Like seventeen hundred calories or something, which is most of your um most of your like food thing. Another hunting rifle. I might uh just leave this hunting rifle here. I don't need two. As the years fall away in front of us, so do the boulders from the hills. All this will look like a victory for Great Bear. Even as Mother Nature recovers Pleasant Valley, whoever remains will be forced to adapt, die, or move on. Alright, so that's everything in here. I believe. Yeah. Um, we're back to having way too much stuff again. Let's see how some of this looks. So it's not as good as the wolf skin, but it is lighter. The wolf skin is better in every aspect other than the lightness. It's about 30% lighter or so. Yeah, we're, we're just going to drop that. Now, as for the pants, I'm currently wearing jeans. Once you're half the weight of this, but this has much better windproofing and waterproofing. Think, yeah, I think we'll go with that. Okay. So yeah, um, let's see where are we at. Oh yeah, we're near the end of the day, so we're gonna stay the night in here. I'll do some repairing and such as usual. And at the next day, we're going to go uh, check out the plane, and I think we'll cut it off after that. <laughs>